Now we'll just get a mealworm here like this and let's just see what happened. Whoop, there we are straight away. Good afternoon and welcome to Paul T Reviews. In fact, it won't be me who is reviewing today's bird food. It'll be the birds. I'm going to leave it to the birds. There are three main foods that I would recommend that you have in your garden to feed the birds. And I will go through each of the three of those and also tell you which birds will enjoy which foods. It's spring at the moment. In fact, you can probably hear some birds singing and maybe cheeping. They're attracting a mate and claiming their territory. As the birds start making their nests and producing chicks, they're going to need some extra food in this very early part of spring. And I'm going to show you the best foods to feed them and why. I'm going to start with the robins because the robins absolutely adore mealworms. In Britain, the robins are extremely tame. They follow us around the garden. And I decided this year during the winter to give them a little bit of food while they were following me. And so they've got a little bit tamer. And as soon as I switched to mealworms, they really showed an interest. So I've got some mealworms here. Now, when you buy mealworms, you can either buy dried or live mealworms. Now, in actual fact, dried is far more convenient and cheaper. And the robins will eat readily these dried mealworms. However, I would recommend that you moisten the mealworms. And this is how I do it. I just leave them for a few minutes in water so that they are well hydrated. And it's really important to moisten these mealworms in the spring and early summer because these robins and some of the other birds like the blackbirds they will be feeding these mealworms to their chicks. Now chicks are not able to drink and so they derive all their moisture from their food and we don't want the birds giving lots of dry food to their chicks. So now that I've shown you how I hydrate these mealworms and how much the robins enjoy them, let's try them on my two robins. I've got a male robin who has been taking mealworms from my hand for the last number of weeks and I'm sure they'll be making a nest shortly somewhere in the garden or nearby. So let's just test our robin with these mealworms. So there's the robin sitting in the camellia. Now we'll just get a mealworm here like this and let's just see what happened. Whoop, there we are straight away he's come down and taken the mealworm. These robins absolute well not only the robins but that was a blackbird coming. There we are so that's his second and we've got also in the camellia here, I don't know whether you can see that, we actually have the second robin. So that is the female. And sometimes the male actually feeds the female. Although just at the moment he's flown off. Oh, no, there we are. Here we've got a, another one. Do you want another one? Yes, he does want another one. Let's see if he feeds his female. He should be. He should do, if he's going to be a proper male. Come on, one more. Come on. Come on. Oh, so there's the female. She, I might have to feed the female myself. She doesn't actually come to my hand. Come on. So there's the female, she's got to get her own. And the male is there. Come on. Now go and feed the female. No, he's eating it straight off. So we can see here that the robins do like mealworms. The robin's actually just jumping around here now and probably wants some more mealworms. Usually he has four or five and then he goes off into the tree and has a sing. So these robins are giving the thumbs up to the mealworms. The second food that I would recommend that you put out in the garden, and in fact, it's the number one food. It's this here. 
sunflower hearts. Virtually every bird in the garden will eat sunflower hearts. The blue tits, the grey tits, the green finches in particular love them. The gold finches, if you've never had gold finches in your garden, or indeed green finches, put out a feeder with sunflower hearts and see what happens. Sunflowers come with their husks on or with their husks taken off. I would recommend these, the hearts, so there's no mess. And this is the third food that I recommend, suet. And these are just pellets of suet. There are also fat balls available, but in fact, I really like these pellets. I put them in a mesh feeder and hang them from a tree in the same way that I feed the sunflower hearts. I've been buying the bird food from a company called Brinvale for the last number of years. I told them I was going to do this video on feeding the birds and they very kindly sent me some examples of the food to show you. They also sent the suet as these pellets. And I first got these pellets from Brinvale and found the birds really liked them. Now I hadn't been feeding suet to the birds this last winter. And when I received these pellets, I put them out into a feeder and within half, an, I can hardly believe this, but within half an hour, I had a greater spotted woodpecker. Now that woodpecker had been visiting the garden the previous year. After months of having no suet and no woodpecker and within half an hour of putting out the suet, the greater spotted woodpecker arrived. It's just amazing how these birds find the food that we put out. But just a little word of warning. If you start putting food out for the birds, you must be patient. The birds will not immediately come to the garden. They take time to find the food and get used to it. You'll probably find that some of the larger birds will find the food first. Once the smaller birds see the larger birds feeding on the food, they will then be encouraged to come themselves. And within a short while after that, you'll find they'll regularly come. And the other thing that is important is that you wash out the feeders regularly so there isn't a buildup of bacteria. There's such a pleasure in watching the birds in your garden and in feeding the birds you will find that the variety of birds will increase no end. I've had probably about 40 to 45 different species of bird come into my garden, many of them because I'm feeding. I do also have in my garden a lot of natural vegetation, shrubs and trees, which will attract the birds. So I hope you're encouraged to feed the birds. So if you only put one food out, make it sunflower hearts. If you want to put two foods out, make it sunflower hearts and suet, and you'll get quite a variety of birds visiting. And I'll see you next time in Pulte Reviews. Bye.